Hello and welcome to this video tutorial for DT Register 2.7 CSV export. Um, this is based on version 2.7.0 and we're going to go through the CSV export utility feature. Uh, you can see I'm already on the back end and I'm on the utility page. You can get there from going to DT or components, DT Register, CSV export and get to this page. You can also get to it from any of the uh, uh, from the back end control panel. Okay, you can see here I have a list of the events that are set up on this demo site. Uh, it does include repeating events, as you can see here. All occurrences of a repeating event will show up. Uh, the only events that will not show up here are events that have been archived. So if you want to get a CSV export of an archived event, you would need to unarchive it first uh, to be able to see it here. So when you select your event uh, and then hit the, and you can collect multiple events or just one event, you can hit the check all button to automatically select all of your events. If you check it again, it will uncheck all. So I'm going to just pick one, go to next, and then you'll see here uh, I have a, a date filter. Uh, so I can, I can choose uh, what date range, say I just want records, from the last few days or something like that I can do so. Then I have a check all to select all the fields. Uh, same thing for uncheck, it'll uncheck all the fields. But here I can go through and I can pick what data I want to include in the export file. Uh, and the general information of the user type, um, the, uh, the amount of the registration, uh, payment method, um, so forth. So most of this is self-explanatory, uh, category location, uh, the Joomla user ID, uh, if they are marked as attended, um, status, transaction ID of the payment, all available there. And then for the individual registration and the, the main contact of a group registration, you can select from the following fields. And all of your fields that were used for that particular event will show up in this list. So uh, you can see here there's... Uh, like the country field is not showing up here right now. The address to field is not showing up. It's because uh, the event that I selected does not use those fields. So uh, your this list is automatically going to be filtered a little bit based upon um, the events that you choose. And so you can come through and just pick the fields that you want. Uh, it does include uh, not only the fields that were created on install, but all the your other fields as well. Um, and then you have your group member details. Uh, this would be if you're using the uh, detailed group registration that has you enter information for each member of a group. Um, this would be what details do you want to see from each member in, uh, in your group registrations. So once you pick the fields that you want, then you'll hit the create export file or button and you'll be prompted to save the file to your computer. This uh, CSV file will be uh, able to be viewed in a program like Microsoft Excel or uh, Numbers on a Mac, uh, whatever program you use to view that. And then you can get in, get your data, and uh, do whatever you need to do with it. And this export you can pull at any time. Uh, if you have any other questions or issues with this, you can log a support ticket or find us on the forum. Thank you very much.